glad you could join me for this outing. It's unexpected to get such nice weather so late into the year. I figured, why not take advantage of this opportunity and go out for a picnic? I packed this basket with snacks earlier this morning. And I made sure to pack plenty of drinks, too. We should stay hydrated while going on a long walk, after all. It will be a bit before we make it to the spot I want to show you. We can catch up and talk about things the other has missed out on. You want to talk about my current case? You know that I can't talk about that. There's a non-disclosure agreement in place. I can't tell you about it. Don't, don't press me on it. Hmm. Why do you care so much? It's better if you stay out of my work. It's not like it's me keeping a secret from you. It's just work, after all. Oh, look. We're here. Here, what? Why don't you get the blanket out of the backpack? Then we can set up this picnic. I hope you'll enjoy the food. I made it without Watari, but I'm sure it will be fine. should have considered getting a basket that was insulated. I don't think that cake is supposed to be this, uh, smelly. <gasps> what a waste of a perfectly good cake. Do you think we could have one ordered out here? Or do they not deliver this remote? I wanted to make sure we had privacy for our date, so I scoured out locations nearby meadows. This location seems like the logical choice, given the beauty, average visitors on weekends, and wholesome nature of the local fauna. But now I'm regretting not choosing a location in closer proximity to one of my favorite bakeries. I guess those are the risks inherent in a picnic. Are you still having a good time? Go ahead. I'm also enjoying myself, just... Sitting here by you and talking. At times, I'm surprised you don't get put off by just how much I do talk around you. But you always seem so interested in what I have to say. I know we're dating, but I still have trouble understanding why. I'm 
not exactly what you think of when someone mentions a perfect partner. I spend my days in secret. Even this outing is more exposure than I allow myself to have on a regular basis. For safety reasons. Though I suppose you already know that much. I wanted us to be in such a private place for this, not just so we could be assured it'd only be us out here, but also to prevent any safety risks to either of us. There are times when I wish I could tell you about my work, but know that it won't be worth it in the long run. Are you really okay with someone like that? Someone who's always keeping secrets from their loved ones? I... I guess you're right. I don't do it to be mean or because I have things I want to hide. I just... I just want to keep you safe. No matter what happens to me, I want you to live a full and happy life. And the safer, the better. As long as the both of us are kept away from prying eyes, the longer I'll be able to keep protecting you. No matter what happens, just know that I will always be here for you. If you ever need me, then just call. And I'll answer with, I'll be there in a few minutes. Even if I'm across the whole world, I'll make it to you if it's the last thing I ever do. I... I wouldn't be able to bear it if something happened to you. I think I'd lose my mind. If they learn who I am and about our affiliation, you will have a target painted on your back in bright red. I don't want that for you. So... If you also decide to leave me because of that, I... I won't blame you. I... I love you too much to let you go willingly and of my own accord, but... I'll understand if that isn't the kind of life you want to live. Why do you look so angry? I'm only proposing other options for your benefit. I don't see the harm. No matter how much you love or care about me, you must admit to facing the difficulties of being with me. You won't hurt my feelings by being factual. My life's work is to face them. I'm looking out for you. Why is it so difficult for you to see that? Being with me poses risks. That is something you've been aware of from the very beginning. And then why are you... Oh. I know you love me too. Is that what my words upset you? No, I... I think I'm beginning to understand now. It's how you show that you care. Loving me means staying by my side in spite of the risks. Even if we need to be secretive and 
I can't share the details of my work. You're still there to offer whatever you can. You love me enough to stay. I understood correctly, didn't I? At least, I hope I did. I just want to be careful because, well, when it comes to these sort of relationships, I must admit, I haven't had the most experience. Sure, much of my work consists of analyzing others, trying to understand their hidden intentions and calculating what their next move will be. But when it comes to you, well, I don't know how much of what I think about you is true, and how much of it is just what I wish were true. So, if there are any misunderstandings between us, I suggest now would be the time to clear them up before my expectations get too high. I must say, you are the most unsolvable case I've had to deal with so far. Yet, you are a case I would most definitely choose to take on, no matter how puzzling you may be. Perhaps it's actually the challenge that intrigues me. Still, I find myself wanting an answer. So, now is your chance to be honest with me. Is this... Am I... Something you can see yourself committing to? Long term? Like... Forever? No, no. This isn't a proposal. Not yet, at least. But... It would be nice to know what your thoughts are towards that sort of thing. But I think it's important to know now. The hectic schedules, the dangerous jobs, the constant secrecy. Perhaps my eccentricity, my lack of filter, my inability to comprehend most romantic attractions. All, all of those things. I want to know if you're really interested in being by my side in spite of all of that. You'd really want to put up with me forever? <laughs> All right. Noted. I'm glad we had this talk, because, well, I can't picture my life with anyone else. I can't wait for what the future looks like with you by my side. I love you. Hello, I'm glad we could meet again. If you enjoy the work this team has done, then consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. For the adult listeners, take a look into the Patreon page where I'm sure you'll uncover something interesting at patreon.com slash anagomi. If you can't find what you're looking for, then you'll just have to make it happen. Visit anagomi.com slash commissions to make your idea come to life. I cherished our time together, but until next time. Goodbye.